Hi fam, Salim here. In this video, I'll be connecting a PHP program to a Microsoft SQL Server database. But before we get into the details on how to do that on the programming side, let's look at what you require first. So you need the Microsoft ODPC driver for SQL Server, 32-bit or 64-bit depending on your environment. And you need the Microsoft drivers for PHP for SQL Server. I'll throw the links in the description where you can download these files. I already have those two files downloaded. So we'll begin by installing the ODBC driver. So the installation for this one is pretty straightforward. Just click next, 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 accept any T's and C's, sign your life away. I already have it installed. So next we're going to extract the Microsoft drivers for PHP. So I'll just extract them here. So this extraction will bring a number of dynamic link files. So choose the one that's specific to the environment that you're running. In my case, I'm running PHP version 5.6. So the 5.6 that you see here coincides with the PHP version that you're running. I'll just confirm that. I'm running PHP version 5.6. So I'll get the PHP underscore SQL save underscore 5.6 underscore TS. So the TS just stands for thread save. And the NTS above here just stands for non thread safe, but I'll need the thread safe version. So, installing the drivers for PHP is in two parts. The first part is we'll need to copy this particular dynamic link file, then navigate to our PHP extensions folder. So, WAMP, bin folder, PHP, the particular PHP version 5.6, then the extensions folder, then we paste that dynamic link file here. So the file that we've pasted is this particular file. We've copied and pasted it into the extensions folder. So that's the first part. The second part is enabling this library in the php.ini file. So I'll go to my one menu here. So I'll go to the php.ini file. And then navigate to the extensions section. So here's the extension section. So we copy the exact file name on the extension section. We we'll simply need to enter this record here. Extension equals the exact PHP file name that you copied. I already have it enabled. So make sure you remove the semicolon at the start of the line. So the semicolon is actually commenting the line like that. So that means this line is commented and it's not enabled. But remove the semicolon and then you've enabled the PHP extension and simply click save. So to double check that your extension is enabled, once you go to your WAMP menu, you go to the PHP, then you go to the extensions you should see your PHP SQL Server extension here. You should have the check mark, that means it is definitely enabled. Okay, so that's all for the configuration side. So I have a, a sample database here with a record of a number of people here. So this is the database that my program will be picking from. Okay, so I'll go to the code side. So I've got the first line here, which simply connects to the database name, the user ID, and the password. Okay, so the first statement runs the connection. If the connection is not fine, it will terminate here and give an error. This is just a basic select query. So if the statement is true, that means the execution of the query is fine without any errors. So this simply retrieves all the results from that particular table and displays them. So the page that I have is actually this. So these are all the records for SQL Server database. My connection was successful. So if you have any challenges, number one, double check that your PHP extension is actually showing here. If it's not showing here, what you need to do is go to your PHP folder, then double check that you've got other php.ini specific environment you've got the development environment and the production environment and you've got the php.ini file so make sure that all of these three files have the php sql server extension
it won't work if it's just in one of them. So I have it in the development environment and I have it in the production environment. Okay, so make sure that all three php.ini file versions have that line enabled. Then click on your WAMP icon and make sure that you restart all services. Okay, so once you restart all services, go to your PHP context menu, check the extensions, and you have it right there. Okay, make sure it's ticked. So if you get any errors saying Microsoft SQL Server could not connect, could not find any service, make sure that your database service is actually running. Okay, services with MSC. The main service that you need to have up and running is the SQL Server agent. You should be able to connect to that database using SQL Server Studio or any database client. So if those are fine, then you should have your connection to the database by your PHP program 